Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. I hope you enjoy it. In this video, I will show you the game between Jan Timan and Wei Yi. This is the game from Tata Steel Chess Tournament that was played in the Netherlands in 2015. Jan Timan had white pieces and he started d4. Wei Yi played knight to f6. c4, g6, knight to c3. Wei Yi played d5, Grunfeld defense. Knight to f3, bishop to g7, bishop to g5, knight to e4 attacking the bishop, bishop to f4, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, d takes on c4, e3, intending bishop takes pawn, black to move, black must make a decision. To attack white center with c5 or to defend the pawn with moves like b5, queen to d5 or bishop to e6. Where he played bishop to e6, queen to b1, attacking the pawn on b7, b6, knight to g5, threatening knight takes bishop, and then bishop takes pawn on c4, bishop to d5, e4, black to move, how would you continue? Well, the first move that comes to mind is bishop to b7, saving the bishop. But then the bishop takes on c4. The white is doing well. Where he played h6, attacking the knight. Knight to f3. If e takes on d5. Pawn takes knight, and white is advised not to capture the pawn because queen takes on d5 and black is doing well. So perhaps queen to b5 would be the strongest move for white. In the game after h6 we have knight to f3, bishop to e6, and white would love to play d5 but it doesn't work because of this move. Check. Winning the rook. So Timan played bishop to e5 first. But now f6. Bishop to g3. Where he castled kingside. And now d5. Black to move. How would you continue? First thing that comes to mind is saving bishop, maybe bishop to f7 or bishop to g4. Where he played f5, bishop to e5. Can you see what is the problem with pawn takes bishop? Bishop takes on c3, and after king to e2, perhaps knight to c6 first, or Black can even play f4 and g5, trapping the bishop. So, after f5, we have bishop to e5, bishop to f7, bishop takes on c4, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, queen to d6, f4, more ambitious than knight takes bishop on f7, if knight takes, rook takes, and after castling, knight to d7. looks okay for black. So we have f4, knight to d7, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, e takes on f5, bishop takes on d5, white to move. Timan played a cool move, queen to e4. No, he is not losing the queen because bishop is pinned. Rook takes pawn on f5, Timan castled queenside, 
and black, a light squared bishop is now double pinned. If bishop takes bishop, then rook takes queen. So where he played e6, rook from h to e1, queen to f7, very good move, black is now threatening bishop takes queen, queen to d3, rook to d8, mobilizing the rook for the final countdown, queen to g3, well Timan could have defended the pawn, but it looks like he was more interested in attacking, he had something in mind when he played queen to g3. Rook takes on f4, bishop to d3, g5, it would be great if white can play h4, but it doesn't work because rook takes pawn. White to move, Timan spotted a tactic on a basis that black rook on d8 is not defended. He played c4, bishop takes on c4. Bishop to h7, check. Discovered attack on the rook. King takes bishop, rook takes rook. Timan won the exchange, but his king is not safe. Queen to f6, attacking the rook. On d8, annoying a1 square. Rook to d7 check, king to g6, rook takes pawn on c7, queen to a1 check, king to c2, queen takes pawn check, king to c1, queen to a1, king to c2, black to move, black can have a draw, way ye found the winning move in this position. Can you? Please pause the video and find the winning move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Black played the move and white resigned. The move is Rook to F2. Timan resigned. If queen takes rook, then check, and after king to d1, queen takes queen. What a battle! Experienced grandmaster Timan lost to young lion Wei Yi. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.